This morning we're going to make a bootable USB drive. Um, I'm actually going to be installing some VMware this morning. Uh, as such, I need a drive that's bootable, uh, a USB stick, sorry, uh, because I don't have a DVD drive and I don't have a CD drive on any of my machines anymore. So we're going to do this via the command line. The first thing is you can see this is the right drive, number eight. And the reason I say open this is just look at your other drives on the size. That was the smallest I have on my hard drives is 223 gig. So I know that the USB one is going to be the smallest one. And the reason I say that is you don't want to format the wrong drive. So open your uh, Windows, go to your command, uh, the search at the bottom, put command CMD. Don't just double click on it, right click and open as administrator. This will then open you up into the command line. And we want to go to uh, this part. That's it. Next step is to find our disk. So we want to do a list. Oh, hang on. List disk. And it's number eight. As you can see, look, it's 62 gig. Everything else is much, much bigger. So we know it's number eight. So we want to select. Disk eight. Or is it disk select eight? Disk select eight. No, select disk eight. That's it. So we're on the right disk. We know that's the right one. Now we want to clean the disk, which will wipe any data on there. So just do clean. And that's everything gone. And we now want to make a partition on there, which is the main partition. So we're going to go create part part primary so it's created a primary partition on there now we want to select primary uh, we will part one which is a primary so we've now got that partition on that drive and then we're going to format it now one thing I will do is format this as FAT32. Um, it's less complicated because I had problems before relating to software going on to the PCs, what for, file system was on there. So I'll try to keep it in FAT32 if possible. So what you want to do is just put format, format, so that's FS, so that's file system. NTFSC and then just quick and that should go away and as you see there he goes 0% it should be quite fast although it is quite a large drive I'll come back when it's finished so now it's finished formatting the next thing is we want to make it active so we'll just type active there you go partition is now active and we'll go exit it's now left there and I should be able to go to my image now there you go see 62 gig and that, that's basically bootable now and I want to put some VM software on there but that's now a bootable USB drive and it doesn't matter what you're putting on there because if I want to put a Visidile server on there it, I can drop it straight in there and it'll run from that now. If I want to put um, Windows in there as a operating system, I can do that as long as it's in that route. And the same with Ubuntu or anything else. It's now fully bootable for installs. And this is what I've done this for. This is my install drive. And I'll keep this drive with the different bits of software. But we're going to be doing some stuff on VMware next, um, which is why I'm preparing this drive. But thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful and it saves downloading software being able to do it in the uh, command line, doesn't it? All right, thanks for watching.